going to talk about my um, ozone setup for home ozone, ozone generator. So just to, as you know, I've got white noise machines going everywhere because I have terrible issues with sound. I'm also testing out some Christmas trees. I, uh, this is just the way that I am. I like to like, see how things going to look while I'm purchasing stuff for them. And I got this really cute ornament here. They, they're sold out now. you got to like buy your Target ornaments early because the cute ones are going to sell out. So I mean, that's what's going on there. But So the ozone. Um, this is my refurbished uh, generator here. It is an uh, upper two years. 
years. Um, we moved in together after getting married, but um, he does not really like it when I yell and wake him up yelling and just yell randomly while he's working from home and stuff, which would happen for Barnella. And so I embarked on a, a journey to try to actually treat the Barnella and get rid of the Barnella for his sake and just to help our marriage because I was like, I'm, it just is making me angry, you know, an angry person having Barnella. And then also, um, Bartonella started to be more of a problem for me after I got on the carnivore diet. It was really helping. The carnivore diet was helping me in so many ways, like my gut, my bones, my skin, my tolerance for sunshine, all these problems that were more in pain and stuff were, were getting better. But my ozone tolerance went so high that I could just use ozone like insufflations for like eight hours a day and still not feel like I had enough. And so even when I bought this more powerful machine, just my tolerance for oxidative stress is so high. I think mainly because I not only do carnivore diet, but I'm very careful to only have grass-fed meat and not to have uh, seed oils. And I think that has really made my cells more resistant to oxidation because I'm not having those unsaturated like seed oils. I, bar I barely even have olive oil. I mostly just have grass-fed butter and grass-fed tallow and then grass-fed meat. And I don't have any like grain-fed animals for uh, at all for like in the past year um, and if I if I do I get stomach pain and I feel bad and I, I can't even really eat out unless it's grass fed meat so ozone was not cutting it for me and so I went on this journey and eventually found a doctor and found the, the treatment I'm on now with the, so yeah but anyway what I'm getting to is that the ozone really really strongly seems to help the antibiotic treatment what I'll notice is I bump up the antibiotic therapy from like, I, I, I went up on the rampant in steps and the dosage. I will notice that the ozone is hitting me harder. It's hitting the Bartonella harder. And I'll be like, whoa, I'll feel it much faster when I start to use the ozone when I have the antibiotics going as well. And then, interestingly, when I got the antibiotics to the full dose of 600 milligrams, it feels like I don't need that much ozone anymore. And also, it just it just feels like the, the combination of the two of them is working really well. If I don't use ozone at all, or if I don't use very much of it, if I use only like less than a quarter of what I normally use, I will get the sore feet back though. So I think that the ozone is sort of like filling in some of the gaps of what, if, if the antibiotics are not killing everything. Furthermore, ozone is very good at penetrating. If you get the doses high, it will really penetrate into your tissues and stuff. And there's some, I, I'm not able to read it right now because my eye injury, but I, I have the impression that there's research on ozone and antibiotics combined um, being more effective than either one separately or, you know, like ha having a synergy. Um, I will say also people are like, well, you know, I've heard ozone doesn't work for certain drugs and certain bacteria. I don't find it works for Babesia for me. Um, if I... I'll be having Babesia flares and I'll be sitting here on ozone and it just seems to not have any effect. Um, I'll still be having the chills and no matter how much ozone I use, I, I definitely need actual Babesia treatment. Ozone doesn't, uh, Babesia doesn't seem as sensitive to oxygen. A lot of how ozone seems to work is, is increasing your oxygenation, um, also increasing your immunity. You can look up Dr. Robert Rowan if you want a lot of great information. He has a video called I Love Ozone by Dr. Robert Rowan has a really good, I'll try to link it in the description, has a really good summary of uh, the ozone benefits, why you should consider ozone. Anyway, to me, um, the cost of this is under $2,000 for everything. They have a money back guarantee for the first month, I believe, and it's, it also got me through COVID. I got COVID very early on and I was really getting sick, having trouble breathing, but I just used a bunch of this and I was okay. I did not get long haul COVID or anything. So I feel like um, it's a really useful tool to have around. I would, I, I, I personally don't don't know if, if you should do it as your only treatment, like unless unless you're pushed pushed to that by by you know financial duress, like I was in, where I that was what made sense to me for a long time to just self treat with the ozone. If I just feel bad. I'll just. Um, take it, it really boosts my oxygen, helps to clear out my herxing, it's just going so relatively easy now with the ozone on board, and uh, just helps to detoxify you, boost your glutathione, boost, boost your catalase, boost your heme oxygenase, boost all these like beneficial uh, enzymes in your body, and also if you can't, 
exercise a lot. I can't do a lot of intense exercise because I get injured so easily and have so many chronic injuries. Ozone will actually provide, it's like exercise in a bottle, I've heard it called by Dr. Frank Schallenberger. It provides a lot of the benefits of exercise without having to actually move around, similar to saunas and hot baths, how those will give you some of the, like, the benefits. Um, still exercise if you can, but um, this I think this is helping me not to have a lot of the negative effects of being super sedentary because I, I, I do a little Pilates and I, I do some mild exercise but I can't I do the TRX go as well that seems pretty easy for my injuries but sometimes I sometimes I can't injure exercise at all and this helps so I, I really really highly recommend having an ozone generator if you can if you can afford it it is a really great addition for me for my antibiotic protocols and for healing and just for